What's up everyone? My name is Nick and today I believe I am at the largest food festival in all of Borneo. I could be mistaken, but I'm right here at the Kuching Food Festival and I'm hungry. Let's go find some food. I've heard that there's over 300 stalls here and it's busy. It is very busy, so let's go and find some food. All right, so I have arrived here at the Kuching Food Festival, but as it's still raining, we thought, why don't we just sit down first before we're gonna check out all these stalls here and uh, let's have a beer first. Cheers. Cheers. Just Kenny hanging out with me today. Here we go, Kuching Food Festival. All right, so I've seen a stall somewhere that uh, sells crocodile soup. So we're gonna look for that because that's pretty unusual even here in Borneo. So where is this crocodile soup? Where is it? Yes! There it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So apparently it's so popular that even the local TV station is filming about the crocodile soup. It's TBS right there. <laughs> so according to many of the local ethnicities here in Sarawak, it is a taboo to eat crocodile meat. And why might you think? Well. If you eat crocodile meat, that might mean that you've eaten a member of one of the crocodile families here. And if you live near a river, that might mean that one of the family members who are still alive might come and eat you. So, especially the Iban say, don't eat crocodile meat because its cousin might come and eat you. I'm gonna have it anyways. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got a little bowl of the crocodile soup. Tastes good, tastes good. And look at this. I'm gonna eat some crocodile. So why not? Very hot. Very hot, very good. You want some as well? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was all the fat part. Mm, a lot of bones. Alright, here we go. Crocodile meat. And as I said before, it tastes like chicken. But it's good. I love the broth soup. I just hope its cousin won't come and chase me. All right, bit of crocodile meat stuck between my teeth, but that's all good. Yes, that was a uh, right. good. Right. Yes, right. right. Let's go. That was good. It was. Uh, it was nice. The broth was so good. The um, the soup was delicious, and I always say crocodile meat tastes like uh, chicken, which it did. Yes. Excuse me. All right. It's so busy here. I love it. So, what are we gonna eat next? I don't know. I've heard that they also sell uh, baloi here, which is like a chicken embryo, and I'm not a great fan of it, but I'm gonna have to try, because, well, I'm gonna have to try all the weird food here. So, let's uh, continue our way, have a good time here. It's so busy, I love it. All right, I've taken a little break, because after the crocodile meat, you need to have a little drink, and there are a lot of different beers here, and I'm gonna go for the 1660 Quatre Rosé. Nice and fresh before we continue the evening. So it's been two years since this festival was organized because of, well, we all know this, this uh, weird pandemic that has been ruling the world over the past two years. And it's really so nice to see so many people in one place again. And trust me, it is busy. Look at how many people there are. There are hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. And now uh, this guy. I'm, 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 oh, we're live! We're live! Right, I had no idea what that was. But uh, we're gonna make our way through all these stalls. And I believe there are over 300 stalls, 330 plus stalls, if I've uh, read the news articles correctly. And really, it's busy. We have to walk slow. There's so much food here. There's local food, um, there's pizzas, there's just a little bit of everything. So um, I'm gonna look for this baloi because I'm really curious to have a little chicken embryo. Why not? All right, let's go find it. Where do we go? I just love the names they come up with for their stalls. Mew Mew Home Cook. All right, what's this? A Tom Yum Thai sausage. Well, on the way to some other food, we might as well take a snack for the way, for the road. <laughs> oh my God, it's splashing all over my arm. Love it. It's what you do here. You buy some food, you walk to the next spot, you eat some more food, 
and you got some more, you got another sausage, you have a snack, and you just make your way through this whole festival while eating and eating and eating. Mm, this is good. Mm. So this really is a place for young and old. You can come here with your kids, you can come here with your grandparents. It's such a good time and it's really all about food. Try king chief and fries. <laughs> now, and of course, what is a food festival without durian, right? I mean, it's one of the most famous fruits here in uh, Southeast Asia. Hello, hi, how are you guys? Hi. Good. Thank you. Say that again. I always saw your YouTube. Watch your YouTube. That's cool. As I said earlier, a lot of these stalls have such cool names. So this stall is called Delicious Authentic Cuisine, which doesn't really say much about what they sell, but it's a good name, yes. All right, I think we found it. I think we found the Balut. I think I've been mispronouncing it, you know, the whole night, um, but they've got Balut here, which is an egg, but it's not egg yolk. There's no egg stuff inside there. It's, it's like half a chicken inside, like an embryo, so. Let's try it. Oh, well, we'll have two embryos, please. I think I've just found the coolest stall here. It's, um, I believe it's Filipino food. They've got pork belly and we did find the balut here, which is a typical Filipino um, delicacy, which is the... Um, it's the embryo. So let's go and try this. Uh, can I have an egg? Here we go. I have no idea how to do this, but this is the balut. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> oh my god, I've never eaten embryo. Oh, it's splashing all over. Nice. Here we go. I, I don't know how to feel about this. I asked the, uh, the lady behind the stall what it tastes like, and she, she said it tastes in between egg and chicken. Here we go. Some uh, embryo chicken. It does really taste like egg and a bit like chicken. It's nice to see all the veins on it. Look at that. Here we go. Should we just bite in? Oh, it's like half, half chicken. Okay, let's go. Oh. I don't know how to eat it. <laughs> I need to flush this down. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's it, it, looking at me. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. <sighs> okay, at least I tried, okay? Oh, I, I gotta wash this down. Uh, I do this for you, yeah? Okay, so leave a comment. Make sure to like this video. That's uh, that's that's even a unique experience for Global Gibbon. <sighs> oh, so you got some sauce with it. <laughs> you really like it. <laughs> All right, that was definitely a unique experience. High five, buddy. We did it. <laughs> so, if you guys want to eat your own uh, embryo chicken, go check out Pinoy Cuisine. Uh, Jalan An Cheng Ho in Kuching. You look so good, man. Love it. I'm having such a great time here. Even though my belly is a little bit upside down because of the uh, the embryo. Yeah, it's. Oh, I, I need to find something else to eat. Well, I think some. Uh, hey -o. <laughs> I think I need some ice cream or something, maybe to settle my belly a little bit. Okay, Kenny. Yes. Yes, let's look for some ice cream. Hello, All right. Yeah, I know you. Oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pork belly? Yeah. All right, let's try this. That tastes good. Mmm, that's so good. <laughs> Yummy. It's getting hot! 
So what is a Kuching food festival without some cool rides for the kids? Let's check these out. I don't know whether they're safe, but uh, they do look like fun. <laughs> the music they play at these fun fairs. chicken that I had, I feel like eating some ice cream. So, uh, what, what, what are we gonna have? Yeah, we have six flavors. Mm -hmm. We have uh, bread berry, mango. That's with Jägermeister, is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll take that one. Purple Jäger with Jägermeister. Let's go, let's do it. Yes, I need some ice cream and I can use a little shot of Jägermeister. Thank you. Alright, so we've got Jägermeister infused ice cream. Let's see if it's any good. Definitely cold. Definitely ice cream. And I taste the Jägermeister, though. Yeah, it's good. It's good! I'm now at the arcade section of the uh, food festival and there's uh, balloons you can throw darts at. There's uh, little games of balls and everything, but I'm looking for the guns. I feel like shooting a gun, so let's see if there's any guns here. Thank you! Ah. Okay, got uh, 16 BG. <laughs> let's see if I can hit one. Let's go! <laughs> got it, first one! <laughs> Alright, so that was definitely very cool because it's been a very long time since I uh, played, you know, this, this, this gun at the old fair that I used to have in my hometown. So that was definitely a lot of fun. I hit about two targets. Kenny, of course, he hit about five. But the problem was, I think we got cheated because you're not supposed to shoot off that uh, thing. It's supposed to shoot up and then down on top of the bottle. How is that ever possible? So, uh, I think we got cheated. So besides the Kuching Food Festival being a big, big food festival, there's also a garden show with beautiful lights here. And it really seems everyone is just enjoying it so much. People are getting their food here, people are playing some games, people are hanging out with family. It is just so nice to see everyone hanging out in the outdoors. It is the whole month of August, basically. And yeah, that's what people do after working. They come here and they grab their food, whether they're gonna spend an hour or two, or then they just go home. But it's so much fun here, there's so much to do. And look at all these beautiful lights here. Wow. Okay, selfie time, selfie time. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Good. Good? Yeah, Have you tried the crocodile yet? No, but I want the crocodile. You are a crocodile. <laughs> All right, so this is the end of the video. I just wanted to say that I had so much fun here at the Kuching Food Festival and it's happening every year. So even if you cannot make it this year, you can make it next year. It's usually throughout the month of August and it's about 30 days of food, fun, happy times and everything. I'm just gonna have a beer with my friend Kenny right there. He just wanted to say hi, but uh, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye bye. Cheers. Uh,